Hey everybody, God bless you guys in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm going to share a word with you. And this word that I'm about to share to you and with you is from a different angle that you probably have never heard or maybe rarely anyone preached about or even conversated to you about. And really the main focus I want for you to pay attention to is why is your mindset, why is your belief system, and why is what you believe critical and important for your life? I want to read to you a passage out of um, Mark chapter 9, verse number 23. But again, like I said, just bear with me and understand the angle of where I'm coming from, but I'm but I'm gonna explain as I continue on and, and go through. Mark 9, verse 23. And Jesus said, you say to me, if you can do anything, question mark, why all things can be or are possible to him who believes or her who believes now I want for you to come with me all things are possible to him or her who believes now come with me but what if you're believing in the wrong thing what if your mindset and your worries and the cares of this world are choking out the seed of God, are choking out his word from your life, and your mindset is fixed upon the cares and the worries and the anxiety of anxieties of this life that you're going through. All things are possible to those that believe. Now watch this. It's true for faith on the blessing and the favor and the uh, and the rewards and the faithfulness and the fruitfulness of God. But it also is true, which is why we must guard our mouth, our mouth, so that that way death and life are in the power of it. But if you're cursing yourself or if your words are not in alignment with the seed that should be taken root within you, what you then are going to confess and convey out of your mouth is going to be the manifestation of what's in your heart, of what you conceived, of what you allowed to be dominant to create your stronghold or mindset in the negative, not the positive, which is faith in God and the fruitfulness and the favor and the blessings of the Lord. But but then what happens is all things are possible to them that believe. Now watch this, y'all. Do you believe that spiritual principles work either or? Do you believe that spiritual principles work either or if they didn't work in the negative we wouldn't have warlocks and witches and those out there in the new age that that by the demonic are producing some things which is what satan did to jesus in the wilderness he tempted him of what the worldly kingdom and treasures So, are the things of what it is that you're tempted with or or the worries and the cares of this world, of the things that you want that are outside of Christ causing you to be in doubt, fear, and unbelief and because you think that the negative and you believe in the negative you believe more in the demonic than you do Christ. You believe that you can be demon-possessed more than you can be Christ-possessed. 
You believe that you can be tormented by demons more so than you can receive the freedom that Christ came to pay. You believe and are fully cons per persuaded and convinced that what the enemy is doing based upon a legal right, so you say, but what about the legal right of the blood of, of Christ Jesus? What about the legal right of the blood that still speaks? Does it have power to override what truth has spoken and said concerning you? But what happens is, because people, Christians in America primarily, the, the American gospel, false grace, sometimes lukewarm churchianity, individuals, they will buy into a lie. And because they allow deception to be their seed, they then will produce from that deceiving seed and manifest their reality of a lie that is not true because they believe that the negative is more real than the positive, that, that, that what the enemy has done, that the legal rights of the enemy has more influence than the legal rights of Christ, of who it is they say they belong to. Because once you understand what salvation, what salvation is, which is Yahshua, which is salvation, deliverance, wholeness, healing, saved deliverer but if you allow deception the seed of the serpent that is still trying to get into your garden so that the seed will override and which is why the bible says that he comes immediately when the seed which is the word of god is sown and based upon the condition of your heart will will be the result and the and the end result of what it is that you have believed cast all your cares upon the lord for he cares for you faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god but what about have you been given your ear the doctrines of demons. What if? What about if you've been giving your ears to a demonic doctrine that cannot hold water to truth that the Apostle Paul said in Galatians 1 that if we or an angel were to add and or subtract anything from the gospel of what it is that is written, the Apostle Paul said, if we, if we or an angel including himself he included himself in that if we or an angel were to come adding to the gospel the apostle paul says let them be accursed anathema it means eternal punishment damnation that could be for a christian the, the, the loss is already lost, but the Apostle Paul was addressing those that were followers of the way of Christ Jesus. He said, if we, including himself, and I say to you today, if we or an angel or that apostle that's gotten you believing or that prophet that's got you believing a different doctrine that is not of the gospel of Christ and you bought into that lie and you believe it as true because of what because of their experiences overriding what truth has said concerning you and what the gospel of Christ has spoken and said brothers and sisters understand this that we will produce we will manifest and we will speak out of our mouth, out of the abundance of what it is that's in our hearts. So we will tell of the seed of what it is that we've been laying with, of what it is that we've been conceiving of. Because listen to people and they'll tell you not just the, revel the, the revelation or the lack thereof, but they will also tell you where their mindset, where their mindset is, and whenever somebody has a mindset, which sometimes people call a stronghold, 
you need liberated and set free by the power of the living Christ. And only Jesus Christ, who is the truth, can set you free.